Welcome back to the Holstein Kiel save in FM 21 beta. We are currently looking quite good. So uh, should we take a look at it? Right. So I've been playing two games since the last time. And yeah, hey, things are looking quite good here, actually. I, I didn't expect that we were winning 4-0 against Brownswick and 3-1 against Dusseldorf. I did not expect that, but uh, I'm quite happy about that. I'm quite happy. Let's see who scored the goals here. Oh, we need to look over here this time around. Yeah, I, I really wish I had my skin from FM20 with me, but can't have it all when it's a new game. And I already, I see, I think I've seen two skinners already uploading some skins. So I think in a week or two, we will have some decent skins. Uh, Jonas Method with one goal and two goals from uh, our uh, target man up front, Sarah. And another goal from Sako coming on late. I mean, Sako is doing already. I mean, he is already paying his wages here. And against Dusseldorf, we got goals from uh, Lee J. Song and from Hilovich and Baku. Talking about Lee J. Song, let's take a look at the transfers because the transfer window is closed now and a couple of things happened since the last episode. Actually, uh, quite a few things happened. Going to transfer history, history and uh, as you can see over here, Lee J. Song is out. We got 3 million or 3.4 million for him. Possibly 3.4. Yeah, well, I would probably have liked to keep him, but things are what they are here. I couldn't really keep him around. He was a really good player. And um, Schalke. Schalke came in for him. Schalke 04. So, um, yeah. So we, needed, so we needed some new players. And I got three new players since the last episode. The first one here, um, yeah, Malcolm. Malcolm is a central defender. I needed just a little more um, depth in in the in the central defense area. And uh, 25 years of age here, and a pretty good central defender. No really weaknesses at all. Really good physicals, decent mentals, pretty good heading. Uh, pretty good central defender. Can't really complain too much about him. So uh, really happy to get him in. And I got him for 185k. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. So after Lee J. Sung went out. And that was uh, on the last uh, day of the transfers. I had to find some new players. And I found a new player here called Timothy Tillman. So he cost 2 million. That is... Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a... Well... But I got two players for the price of Lee J. Song. But the thing is, they, they are actually brothers. Timothy Tillman and Malik Tillman. But when I tried to get Timothy Tillman, let's take a look at him. Timothy Tillman here, he is an attacking... I'm going to play him as an attacking midfielder. Um, and when I tried to approach, approach him, he, he wanted his brother with him. But his brother was not even in the same club. Uh, this guy was in... Uh, Greuder Fürth, whatever that name is, and his brother was in uh, Bayern Munich. So, yeah, well, I, th I think they're both from Greuder Fürth, and then both of them went to Bayern Munich at some point, and then this guy came back to Greuder Fürth. Um, but he wanted his brother with him. That was, I couldn't, I couldn't get it off. He he didn't want to come to me. He didn't want to come to our club unless we got his brother as well. So we got this guy, and he is. I don't. I mean, he's a big talent, twenty-one years, and he could potentially be worth way more than one or two million. He could be potentially worth six, seven, eight million, or maybe even more after this year we are playing. Don't know. We'll see. But I'm. I'm I'm quite happy with the business I did here. So Malik Tilleman is his brother, his younger brother, 18 years old. He is just like his brother. Pretty, they are very similar, very similar. And um, yeah, I mean, he he could develop. Uh, this guy is a chance. This guy is a chance. Uh, but I think I think he will develop into something that uh, is worth way more than what I spent on him. And uh, hopefully so, hopefully so. Um, but right now he is emergency backup for our team. But he will, he will probably. I think if 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 one of the Tillman is not playing, probably the other one is gonna be playing uh, in our AMC role. Um, 
yeah, so I'm 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 pretty happy with the business here. Last day of the transfer window, and I got them in. So who are we up against here in the next? We are up against Würzburg Kickers in the Bundesliga two. Let's take a look at them. Okay, so they are currently tenth. In um, but the question is where where they supposed to be. Let's take a look at where they were supposed to be in uh, media prediction. Uh, okay, 17th. Okay, guys. Yeah, we, we should beat them. We should beat them. Uh, I think we are away from home, but we should beat them. So let's do the tactical meeting here. Uh, no, I don't want to go defense. I, I don't know why they're telling me this, but I, again, I don't think the... I know that Miles and some of the other SI guys told us that the that this would be more intelligent i i don't see it uh it is is asking me the same thing or it's trying the same thing every single time it's telling me to go defensive it's uh, increased defense duties i don't want to do it i don't want to see it i why why are you why why is this coming up uh, and i can't i can't remove it i can't do anything i can say i'll sort it but it's still there <laughs> Uh, unless unless I actually do it, I don't think it's gonna change, and I think it's a bit stupid. This is not intelligent. This this is far from intelligent as it could be, and um, I mean maybe my assistant manager or whoever is whatever AI is giving me these instructions might be right, but I don't want to play with it. I don't want to go from positive to, def to to defensive. So please take it away. Please get rid of it. But I can't. I mean it's it's a little bit annoying. Again, some of the UI stuff is annoying. Um, I do not like the changes in the UI. Uh, if we're looking at the whole spectrum of UI changes, there are some changes that I'm perfectly fine with, but overall, I don't, I don't think it's good. I don't think the changes they made are are better than FM20 or previous editions. Um, but is there anything here we want to do? Use title marking. I believe the title marking have. Uh, sure, let's try it for this match. I can always take it off again. And I did actually... Ah, and this screen. I mean, the UI again is, is horrible. Opposition, ask assistant. Perfect. But we did do a little bit of changes, maybe. No, I don't think... No, I think, I think it's the same as it was last time we played. Correct me if I'm wrong. Right. No, I did change one thing. I did change one thing, and that is that we are no longer we we don't have an um, advanced playmaker anymore. We do have a attacking midfielder instead. I am tempted to go deep line playmaker down here on one of these. Um, but I'm not sure of the for now. I want the ball winning midfielders. I don't see anything that why why I would change it. I don't see anything wrong with having two bowling and midfielders. It seems to be working out quite good actually. They seems to be getting some decent uh, average rating as you can see because the screen is horrible. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's actually go back and um, get into the tactic screen instead because that is much better. Wow, that. Uh, needs to, yeah. What what you need to do here is actually add something else, add some random column here, so it will be so that one will be over here, so that so this progress bar won't get stretched like that. I don't know why they have never fixed this. It's 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 been here forever, twenty years of playing FM football. This has already been. I've already I have always done this adding another ability over here, another column, so it won't do that, because otherwise it will do it. I don't know why that is the case, but uh, again, that is something that have been here forever, so you can't really... Okay, so who I think we should put um, Timothy Tillman directly in here. I think I want to see him play. And what else? Maybe something else. Sacco out. I think uh, I want Sarah on instead. He's also pretty young, Sarah. Yanni Sarah. Probably not pronouncing that correct, but um, in my save, he's gonna be called Sarah. 
Um, I don't. Tanger, maybe he's not really fit, but could give him a game instead of Heliovich. But Haliliovich, I think I'm gonna rename Haliliovich. It's pretty hard to pronounce. Oops, what was that? What what did I push there? Oh, I probably pushed the send on leadership calls. Yeah, he's not a leader. Um, that's my bad. Uh, I don't really need to copy past this every time I'm setting a nickname. That's also a little bit annoying. There we go. And uh, I think I'm just gonna call him. Uh, hello, Hellovich. Hellovich. That is a lot easier to say. Alan Hellovich. Good. And I think that was it. Let's get into the game here. We are already 11 minutes into the save, so uh, yeah, let's let's get started. Submit team. Timothy needs a number. He's gonna get number seven here. Uh, four players lacks familiarity with the formation. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, this screen not really important. This screen not really important. This screen very important. Um, and I think. I think this is one of the screens that I do like. I don't really like this body language thing, and it's, it's well, I, I don't dislike it, but I, I mean, it's it, it it it's just not important to me to see these figures, and but I, at least it is something fun to do. Um, maybe the first month, or first couple of saves you do, but I mean, overall, it's it's not. I just don't feel it's it's it was that important to bring this to the table, or bring this to a new game. Uh, what are we gonna do here? Uh, a couple of players are complacent. Yeah, we wanna we wanna win this. So let's go for hands on hips. Oh, I can't do that. Of course, why why can't I do that? Why can't I do hands on hips and then say go go out there and. It seems a little bit strange. It seems a little bit strange. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't understand who who made these decisions. If I'm going hands on hips and I want to do this, why, why, why would the game not allow me to do that? I don't, I don't get it. It seems completely. Uh, <laughs> it just seems odd. But let's go with that. Okay, some of the guys actually did get a little bit motivated. Uh, okay. Kick off. Here we go. Wow, it's so light. What is going on here? Is this is this the stadium light or what is going on? It seems very bright. Okay, Baku going in. Oh, oh nope. Could be a very early highlight here. No. It wasn't. It wasn't. Now one thing I haven't talked too much about is the XG and well that is probably one of the best additions to the game here. I think XG is a really nice thing to get into the game. I love it. Other than the ME. I think the ME is the biggest um, new thing in this game. Uh, don't get me wrong. It could be much better. We could get a much better 3D modeled match engine. But compared to FM20, is this a lot better? It is a much better engine, and well, it's the same engine. They have probably just tweaked things. But that's fine. It's better, and if things are better, I'm all for it. Encourage, focus, uh, fire up. I'm not sure what this fire up is yet. So let's do it and see what actually. Why can I see my body language? It's down here. Let's see if it does anything. No, I think it went to the wrong here. So fire up. I don't know. Um, yeah. I think it's way too bright here. Why is it this bright? This looks unnatural. I don't know why, what this is. Why, 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 why is the screen so bright? It might not be as bad. It might just be my um, monitor, maybe, and uh, maybe it's not as bad as your screen. Because when I'm looking up, I'm, when I'm looking up at my screen uh, on top of the my my little monitor here, and I'm looking at the um, my OBS, my streaming, and my other screen up there is not as bright. So it might it's it's really really different. 
So maybe it's because of my monitor that I'm using um, down here, where I'm looking at you right now, where FM is running on. But I can also see OBS up here, and it's much less bright uh, running up there. So maybe it's the monitor, actually. Maybe I need to change the monitor's uh, settings instead. It might be that. It just seems very bright. Right. Do we have a chance here, Tillman? Come on. Elwich. Oh, it's a, it's a nice it's a nice little uh, try here. Nice little shot. Corner. Fire up. Really? Now I now uh I'm not okay, I don't know. Why why is it saying that? Should I do a fire up? No, it, I don't know. What what is this? <laughs> or maybe it kicked in right there. Maybe it first kicked in right there. But I really don't like that I can't see the body language. I mean, the body language is down here in these smileys, but I like to see the text. I like to see the text. Same as with the condition and that. I want to see the percentage. I don't like to see some heartbeat monitor. I simply don't like to play with it. Yeah, Miles gonna say, yeah, but it's more realistic. I don't care. I want to play how I want to play. Please give me back my way of playing or how I want to play it. Ooh, that's a big chance for them. I want to be able to change this down here. I want to be able to get rid of the monitor and put on um, percentage instead and get get the text in. Oh, just over the top for them. Good. Poof, I don't know. How are we looking? In, uh, and, and this as well. Again, the UI is bad. Um, yeah, well, can't really complain too much. 0 0.24 in XG. Ooh, is this a chance? I think it's a penalty. No, he didn't get it. Okay, Mulling back to Milford. Milford? <laughs> Milford. Scramble, Baku. Scramble into Baku again. Can he get a shot on? He can, but it's... Well, he shot... It was a strong shot, but um, it was wide. That was a really strong shot. Okay. They might have gone too far with the goalkeeping ratings here, <laughs> but I don't mind it. It's nice to see the goalkeepers actually get some decent ratings. Maybe he is just playing good, I don't know. Half time. Well, that was not really that exciting, in all honesty. That was... Yeah, not, not the best half, but... Okay, so here we go again with uh, the team talk. What should we do this time? What are, uh, we have been the better team here. Just keep doing what you've been doing. And we'll be fine. Sure. But what kind of body language should we go for? Pump fist? Ah, that didn't work. Okay. <laughs> My chair is going crazy behind me. It's the... What is it called? Neck, uh, neck thing. It's a, bit, a little bit loose. But it's nice to have it. All right. Shouts. Hmm. Uh, demand more praise. Uh, demand more. Let's try that. I, I don't even know if it's doing anything composed right now. This guy looks fired up. Okay, so if it's turning green. I can't see three of the guys. I can't see actually four of the guys because my camera is down here. And uh, well, I, I, I will get a better camera at some point. I hope to get a real camera. Uh, buy that, maybe I'll just like Friday or something. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, so we are behind now. I don't like that. Never like to be behind. Let's see what exactly happened here. Just a nice cross or what? Yeah, it was a nice cross. And a nice first time ball. That, that was a really good volley. That was... Wow, okay, he went all crazy with his animation there in the celebration. But but that's a nice volley, but even even a better volley. Look at that volley. Wow. That is a great volley. But yeah, I hope to get a better um actually I, I think I got I got three things in mind that I want to buy uh, at Black Black Friday. If if it's cheaper, I would if it's not, I'm gonna buy it buy it anyway. <laughs> 
Uh, I'll, I'll probably need some better lighting. As you can see, the lighting is yeah, not the best in the world. And it's very gray outside. It's a very gray day today. And you can see the lighting. It's it's all right, but I, I like to get better lighting. So I will probably find something, um, some lighting to buy. And I do want, um, I do want, uh, right now I'm using my phone. I'm using my phone as a camera. It's it's decent. Don't get me wrong. It's actually pretty. I, it was a lot better than I expected it to be. But I do want um, a real camera to do the work. So I will probably buy that at Black Friday if I can find anything good. And I will also add a better microphone. This one is it, it's a cheap one. It's not the best. I, I want something a better, maybe a Blue Yeti or something like that. Um, I don't want to go all crazy with uh, a microphone, but I do want something better than this. Um, I don't think the the voice is uh, or the voice the, the sound is too good. Oh, maybe we got a chance here. Yeah, I think this this could be a chance. Sarah, back to Helovich. Oh, that's horrible, mate. I think I renamed him wrong because he got forty three in his name. <laughs> Probably need to change that. Where is he? Where is he? There, 43, Alan Hadovich. <laughs> we need to change that again. Can't have 43 in his name. No, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make sure that's changed for the next time. Ooh. Ah, great save. But we, I think we need to do a shout here. We need to be great. Let's, do, let's try that. And let's go for uh, some substitutes here. We're 69 minutes in and we got five substitutes. Uh, Tillman is not looking too good. He's anxious as well. Let's bring him off for Bartles and Sira off for Sacco, Mefford and Mulling. Now our ball-winning midfielders are not looking too good here. Okay, might might we might need to change things up in the tactic then. Uh, but for this game, we're just getting on some new legs. Confirm the subs. That's four. That's four substitutes. I'm not sure that's a good idea actually, but it's done. It's done. Let's go attacking. Actually, let's go very attacking. Still highlight for them. Maybe. Mm, nah. Can we get the ball here, please? Please, guys, get the ball. No. Ah, it's a okay. Well, I had two really good games, and uh, I had two really good games, and now I had a have a really poor game against the opponent that we should probably be winning against. But all right, all right. Um, do we want to skip here? Nah, let's see it again. It was actually a nice little attacking play here, but poor, poor marking. I mean, the defenders, um, that's the only thing I can say about the ME that is really bad. The marking is horrible to look at. It's, it's really awful. So, 43, Alan Helovich. Nope. We, no, I don't, I think this game is pretty much ruined for us. I'm not sure what... I probably, I probably could have been better instead of talking about stuff. I could probably have um, I demand more. No, that's the wrong one. Actually, I should have gone for something else. Are they gonna get a three nil here? That's that's really terrible. But I think I, I think we're gonna uh, change the ball winning one of the ball winning midfielders to uh, either advanced playmaker or deep line playmaker. Since we have changed the advanced playmaker to attacking midfield. Oh, that's... Yeah, we are... Let's look at the marking in here. Look, see how he's looking at the ball. He's not looking at the man. He had no... He, he got no idea what the, what is happening around him. It's, ter it's terrible. The marking is terrible. I, I'm telling you guys. It's, it's just not... It's, that is terrible marking. And uh, it, this was not even close to the worst situation I have seen, but uh, but it is it is really annoying to see. And uh, it's it's not about that I'm losing three 0 here. It 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 is just the AI is really bad at recognizing other players or whatever. 
they are more focusing on their own lines and more focused on the ball. They are not focused on the opposition, and and that is that is not that is not the correct way to defend. You should you should focus on all three things, not only two of them. And there is probably more to defending than that, but I think you get what I mean here. They they seem to not understand that there are man there is a man right next to them or close to them that they should mark as a defender. It it seems that that sort of logic is not in the play. Yeah, we are getting completely destroyed here. Terrible match. Absolutely terrible match for us. Is that a Polish flag? No. What what is that flag? I don't know. Yeah, uh, maybe it's the uh, the opposition's flag. Maybe yeah, it probably is. Okay, so that was a really terrible game. Look look at the XG here. Wow, what did I do wrong? When I went to very attacking, I guess that was the wrong thing to do. Okay. Uh, I, I can't even. I can't even. Let's give it to the assistant. Hey, he did something good. Very good. Demotivated. Sako. Okay, well, I, I guess Sako didn't do anything wrong, but he didn't do anything good either, so that is what it is. Saving game. Okay. Look how fast that went. Did you see that? How fast that save went? That was that was a really fast save. That is a positive thing with the, with this new um, edition of the game. The 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 loading is incredibly fast. I can tell you that right now. That is really great. Uh, Tillman makes his debut. Yeah. All right, guys. When should we come back? Well, since things are not doing that, I mean, we're not doing. Bad, but we're not doing well as well. So let's. Ooh, Hamburg. That might be a big game. I want to come back for the Hamburg, uh, the Ham Hamburger, the Hamburg game. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it is pronounced in um, in German, but I know how we pronounce it in Danish. We call we call it a uh, Hamburg. So maybe I'll just call it Hamburg. Hamburg SV. Hamburg SV. Yeah, that sounds fine. I'm not sure how it is actually pronounced in German, but Hamburg SV. Is, uh, is the game we are coming back for in the next episode. Alright guys, that is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Realm Q. I hope to see you in the next episode.